Once upon a time, there was a little boy who went down to the building site where they were building some new houses. At the building site, there was a big yellow digger. At the front of the digger, he had a big scoop which would push along and pick up all sorts of dirt and gravel, then be taken it somewhere else, then pour it, pour it away. And at the back of the digger, there was a big digger arm, which was in yellow, and at the end of it, there was a giant scoop or spade or shovel. I'd call it a scoop because it would scoop up the stones or the earth, put them into the, uh, the cup of the digger, and then he'd swivel around and empty it out into a truck or a skip. And the big digger was very large. It had a tall exhaust pipe pointing up in the air, and out of the exhaust pipe would come some smoke. Inside the digger sat a, a builder who was controlling the digger with all his controls. It looked a bit like a tractor because the back wheels were bigger than the front wheels. Also, at the front of the digger, there were two eyes, a nose, and a mouth. Now, you might think that's a little bit unusual to have a eyes, a nose, and a mouth on a digger, but this was a special digger because he was really alive. The digger could talk and think and do things. Well, just then, uh, the little boy saw another boy playing with a football and his dog, and the boy, boy accidentally kicked the football into a big, deep hole at the building site. Side. The dog ran after the ball, as dogs do, and fell into the hole. Oh no, said the big yellow digger, having seen what happened. And the big ye yellow digger started his engine, brum, 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 and trundled over to where the boy was. But the boy was deep down in the hole. Oh dear, said the digger. Uh, however, can we get him out? I know, said the digger. I'll turn my digger around and go behind, and I'll use my big shovel, my my uh, scoop, to go deep into the hole and lift him out gently and take him up and sit him by the edge of the grass. So it's not the boy in the, the hill, it was the little dog in the hole. And that's what he'd take, and the dog was in the... Got, when the digger's scoop got down to the bottom of the hole, the dog had got into it, and then the digger was lifted up, the, the scoop was lifted up and put flat gently on the ground and the dog could run out and go back to his little boy, the, his master, and be very happy to have got a, lu a lucky escape that he came out alive. Then the digger, the big yellow digger, decided it was time to have lunch. Well, as you know, diggers don't eat food like you and me. Do you know what they eat? Mm -hmm. They eat what? Petrol, or gas as they call it in America, or diesel, sometimes usually diesel, I guess, for a big like that. So normally what happens, they go to the petrol station, the gas station, and there they fill up with gas or petrol and then drive back to where they get to work. But this time, the tractor didn't want to go that far, but luckily, in his cabin at the back, he was carrying an empty tin can full of petrol. So the driver, one of the men who knows how to drive tractors, got out and poured the can of petrol into his petrol tank and shut it up tightly. Then he started up the digger and it went rum, rum, rum. The motor sounded really great, it sounded really much in form. And, and the diggers dig eyes and mouth and, and, eat, and can eat food and... Yeah, this digger has got eyes and ears and he can smell with his nose and he can eat food and smile like you can. Look, Daddy, there's a lot of building sites. This digger's on a building site. Yeah, you usually find diggers on building sites, don't you? And that's, and that's person there's a building site. And, and this person in the building site. And then that's and that's a digger and build, build it and the building site. Mm. Now we we'll stop the story and it's time to get to bed. <laughs>